Hi guys, it's Al here from Beyond Expectations. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about the hormone that could be stopping you from losing the belly fat and what exactly you can do about it. Now, the number one hormone that may be stopping you from losing the belly fat is cortisol. Cortisol is released by the adrenal glands in response to stress, whether that be physical or psychological. Now, the main negative effect of cortisol is it increases your belly fat and reduces the lean muscle on your body. So therefore, you're not going to have that detail and definition that you desire in your midsection. A common mistake I see most novices make is exercising first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. This can be one of the worst things you can do because your cortisol levels are often at its highest first thing in the morning. Here are three things you can do to manage the negative effects of cortisol. Number one, have a stress management plan. Since cortisol is released in response to stress, the best thing to do is to avoid stressful situations. As that is not often possible in every situation, the next best thing to do is to set aside some time to de-stress and lower your cortisol level. Some of the suggestions you could do to de-stress are Read a book, listen to some music, watch a movie, have a massage, get your nails done. Number two, make sure you focus on good nutrition. The most important time of day to control your cortisol is first thing in the morning. So make sure that you have a large breakfast that's nutrient dense. Number three, prioritize sleeping well. Cortisol levels are at its lowest when you sleep. Sleep is critical because you lose most of your belly fat when you're asleep and not when you're awake. So aim to maintain a good quality and duration of sleep to minimize the negative effects of cortisol. Some suggestions are avoid caffeine late in the day, avoid looking at bright screens on your mobile phone or tablet as this tricks your brain to stay awake. Get consistent and strict with your bedtimes. So just to recap, so that you can minimize the negative effects of cortisol and make sure that you reduce that belly fat is number one, make sure you have a stress management plan. Number two, focus on good nutrition. And number three, make sure that you're getting good quality sleep. It's critical to reduce the negative effects of cortisol and in turn lose the belly fat. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope this helps. Please leave your comments and questions down below. If you need help reshaping and transforming your own body, please head on over to our website, elit.com, and grab your free copy of Seven Rules from Beyond Expectations. I really do hope this helps. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on the bell notifications. Thanks so much. Bye. Next year, in May 2011, I will be competing in the International Sports Modelling uh, Physique Competition. And it'll be roughly nine to ten months after my second baby. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually have a nanny to take care of my children, a chef to prepare my meals, someone to do my washing, any of those things. I don't have a personal trainer, I don't have a nutritionist, I don't even have gym membership. Please welcome mother of two, Hill Hill.